Scott Gatto, Marine, combat Marine, fought in the Battle of Fallujah, one of the most intense urban warfare battles in American history. Yes, it was That's the correct. most intense urban warfare since uh, K- the Battle of Quezon in Vietnam. You are you served in the Marines, you fought in the Battle of Fallujah, but you lost how many guys in that time you were in Iraq? So during that particular deployment, we lost roughly about 90 folks, um, service members. Almost and, half of your unit? Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, so while, while we were over there, it was obviously door-to-door, intense urban warfare. You don't know who's behind the next door in the closet. And there's more than likely someone in a house waiting for you on a day-to-day basis. And on a day-to-day basis, we probably cleared 150 to 200 homes a day per squad. So, reality speaking, 80% casualty rate in urban warfare led to the result in our own demise, which was casualties and fatalities. And, uh, you know, I'm here still today, and there's many veterans who are. Uh, for those who have gone before us, we obviously, our hearts, them, them are our heroes. But uh, we live for the people that are here today, and we know that if they were here today, that they would be living their lives to the fullest. So that's probably what they would want us to do. So our goal is to help veterans find that purpose to live. And so Scott, you return and you find that there's issues for veterans getting jobs. You find that there are issues for veterans. 22 veterans commit suicide every single day, an outrageous number in this country. And you find that veterans getting back together with each other is a big help in moving forward with your life after you're out of the service. So you start Reunite the Fight. What does that mean and what is your group? So Reunite the Fight is a group of guys that I served with and fought with in the Battle of Fallujah. Uh, There was four of us, um, me being the the ringleader, I came to him with an idea. I said, hey, what do you guys think? You know, we we go on all these reunions and it's kind of what helps us get through our bad times with the PTSD and we share our stories and our struggles and what do you think if we did this for other people? Would it help? And they kind of looked at me and said like, wow, like, yeah, I think it would. So we start this organization last year in 2017. We get approved for a 501c3 in June 5th, 2017. And we start uh, fundraising, you know, asking people for money. And, uh, you know, you get out in the community and you realize that you have a purpose. And our purpose is to find that person that wants to give back and help that veteran. And it's a lot of work on our part, but when you see the veterans reunite, I mean, we've reunited over 100 veterans on 12 different trips in just a short time, less than seven months. And I couldn't tell you the amount of dollars we raised, but I know it's over 100,000. Uh, and we're really taking off. We got a lot of organizational support, but you know, 100 veterans, we'd like to help 1,000 veterans or 2,000 veterans. When we get into jobs or employment, a lot of veterans leave the military with a DD-214, a slap on the back, good job, and then they have nobody to turn to. With nobody to turn to, that's where you guys come in. Exactly. So Reunite the Fight is an entity that has multiple resources available from resources on veteran suicide, suicide, the crisis hotlines, um, employment opportunities, resume writing tools, and literally I've helped guys write their resume uh, through email and, you know, talking over the telephone, but... We also help them network into jobs. I helped eight veterans get a job last year. And these were jobs that were $55,000 a year or more. Uh, But it utilized their special skill sets and helped them get to a different place in their lives and better their families, um, while also giving them a sense of purpose. The bigger part of Reunite the Fight is that bond, forged in fire. You know, we always used to say, I mean, Sun Tzu said in the book of the Art of War, if war does not kill the warrior, then having no purpose for him will. And so when that kind of really hit home with me and getting veterans back together, restoring camaraderie, giving them that purpose, seeing their faces light up, when you can experience that and be a part of that and see exactly what it does for them to just simply shake hands and hugs again, it's, uh, it's emotional, it's intense, and that's why we do what we do. So Scott, we are talking about helping as many veterans as you can. It's not easy. But here's one way, if people like what you're saying, they can go play golf with you guys. Tell me about this fundraiser, because you know it's gonna be a fun day to play golf, but you're telling me that it's gonna give you the ability to help more veterans. Yeah, so like we spoke about, Sean, is veterans on a day-to-day basis have 
you know, really three issues with reuniting with their brothers and sisters. And that is simply, they don't have the funds, they don't have the time, or they don't know how. So what we do is we provide them those tools, you know, we set up the trips, uh, we put it out on social media, and we do it through our network channels for people who don't, and community involvement, mm -hmm. through word of mouth, so to say. And so veterans have the opportunity to contact us at our email at info at reunitethefight.org and inquire about a trip or volunteer to go on a trip and volunteer some of their brothers and sisters that they've served with. Uh, obviously, the biggest challenge is finding donations. You know, right now we've took 100 vets and 12 different trips in less than seven months. If we had more funds, we'd be able to do more, help more people. More people um, are asking. More veterans are reaching out to you saying, yeah. I want to go. I want to be with my guys. Help Absolutely. me do it. But you need help to get that done. Yeah, so what we're asking is, you know, if you know of a business, if you know of a corporation, um, especially with the tax breaks that we just got this year, you know, it's going to change the game for a lot of people and what they have to do to donate their funds. And we hope that they'll look at reunitethefight.org to try to be that organization that they can go to and say, I want to help a veteran. And I know that if I give my money to this organization, 100% of that proceed is going to go to that veteran or that frontline soldier or that you know navy pilot or whomever you know the veteran may be woman man you know in this day and age it doesn't matter if they wore a uniform they got it honorable discharge and they raised their right hand and volunteered their time and sacrificed their life for our country then we want to give back and help that person get to the next step of their life no question one way of doing that what june 2nd the golf outing at rattle run in china township right and so you you have it's going well but you have room for some more teams yeah so you know we've actually had a couple of teams sign up here since we've uh done the news broadcast but what we'd ask is if you're interested in getting a team signed up like do it as quickly as possible you can go to www.reunitethefight.org uh click on our events if you look over on the right you'll see the second annual operational give back golf outing at rattle run on the right hand side of the page click event registration details and you can click on register it's very simple. A uh, four-man team is $320 right now. We have plenty of whole sponsorships for people who can't golf. Um, we also have volunteer spots, and then we're also going to be putting dinner tickets on sale once the event sells out for the golf because there's going to be over $15,000 worth of raffle prizes there, uh, maybe even more than that, but I, it's going to grow. And, and there's a lot of organizations getting involved because they want to see this succeed just as much as we do, and we hope that we can gain your help and support.